Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to figure out if two lines are parallel or perpendicular or neither by calculating their slopes. Okay, so here's an example of a question we might be asked to solve. Is the line passing through A, negative 1, negative 3, and B, 1, 4, is that line parallel or perpendicular to, or neither, to the line passing through C, which is negative 3, 5, and D, 3, 2? So we look at that question, and we kind of have no idea just looking at that. So really the first thing to do is to get a sketch. The sketch won't give us the answer for sure, but it'll tell us what's a reasonable answer, and then we'll calculate the slopes, and we'll know for sure. Uh, the sketch is extra important because it's really easy to make crazy mistakes calculating the slopes, uh, and if you have a sketch you can know right away, oh that answer doesn't make sense, I must have got a sign wrong or gotten a number upside down or something. Okay, so we'll draw a sketch. So the point A is negative 1, negative 3. There. Uh, B is 1, 4. So when you're drawing sketches like this, it's not important that, the, um, that everything be exactly right. It's just a sketch. But you want to keep an idea. If, if 1 is about this big, then you want 1 to be about that big. I want my B to be a bit farther from the x-axis than A is, because this is only down 3. And that's up four. Maybe I'll label these. Negative one, negative three. Okay. And so this line we're talking about is that parallel or perpendicular to the one that goes through C? So C is negative three five. So it's going to be about over here, and it'll be up a little bit higher than B. And then D is 3, 2. So about here. Huh. So those lines look like they might be perpendicular. They're certainly not parallel. Okay? But we wouldn't be surprised if we get an answer of perpendicular here. Okay, so we're going to calculate the slopes. Uh, we'll start by calculating the slopes of one of the lines, it doesn't matter, and then we'll do the other and we'll compare. Um, maybe I'll start with CD. Um, the way I'm going to designate what I'm doing is I'll write M, and then I'll write which points are on that line, and I'll write them as a subscript. So little numbers on the little letters on the bottom. So MCD, the slope of CD, and then I'll write the slope formula. Y1, y, sorry, Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1. Now I have to decide which is x1 and y1 and so on. So I'll make this my first point, c. So I've got x1, y1. And then d, I've got x2, y2. So now I'll substitute. I'll be real careful of the signs. y2 is 2. Take away y1, that's 5. And then x2 here is 3. And we're subtracting x1, which is negative 3. So when you substitute negative numbers in here, if we're subtracting negative numbers, be really, really careful of that sign. Make sure we're subtracting a negative number. So 2 minus 5, that's negative 3. And 3, subtract negative 3. So that's 3 plus 3. So that's 6. Okay, now we'll simplify. Um, so it's negative. The negative can be on the top or the bottom or in the front. And then 3 over 6 is 1 half. So MCD is negative a half. So we should stop at this point and say, does this make sense? Does that slope look like negative a half? And it does. It's definitely a negative slope. And it's not very steep. If it was 45 degrees, it would be a slope of 1, and it's less steep than that. So a number that's closer to 0, that makes sense. Okay, so the perpendicular slope here, and we can write that as m perp. This is how we say that. This is slope and then a perpendicular sign. The perpendicular slope of that would be, so this one's negative, so it would be positive. And we flip the number over to get the negative reciprocal, so it would be 2. 
So if we come out with AB having a slope of 2, then we know that these are perpendicular. If it's anything else, we know they're not. Okay, so now we'll find the slope of AB. Okay, the slope of AB. So I've um, got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, now I'll label. So here's my xy, and I'll call that point 1, so x1, y1. And then I've got xy here, and those will both be 2s. Okay, y2 here, 4 minus y1 is negative 3. I gotta be real careful with those signs. X2 is 1. X1 is negative 1. So here's an example of where it's super easy to make a mistake when you're figuring this line out here. So watch that you put all the right negative signs in, and then watch that you calculate really carefully. So 4 minus negative 3, that's 4 plus 3. So that's 7. And then 1 minus negative 1, that's 1 plus 1, so that's 2. We'll check that this makes sense. So first of all, is this a positive slope? Yep, it's a positive slope. And then, is it 7 over 2? That's 3 and a half. So that's a pretty big number. And this is a pretty steep line, so that makes sense. So the slope of AB... is 7 over 2, or 3 and a half. Okay, so what does that tell us? Essentially, that tells us they're neither. The slopes aren't the same, so they're not parallel, and they're not negative reciprocals, so they're not perpendicular. If we would have had to get a slope of 2 here on AB for these to be negative reciprocals, um, in fact, if we if this number on the top had been an 8 instead of... Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> that would have given us a slope of 4. Okay, so let's write a conclusion. So the slopes... Um, let's put... They are neither. And then an explanation. We always need an explanation. They're not parallel. Because the slopes aren't the same. And they're not perpendicular. Because their slopes aren't negative reciprocal. Okay, so just to review, if you want to decide if lines are parallel or perpendicular, or neither, first draw a sketch to get some idea of what's reasonable, because it's way too easy to make a calculation mistake. And then calculate the slope of one of the lines, calculate the slope of the other lines, and you can just compare them. If they're the same, the lines are parallel. If they're negative reciprocals from each other, then the lines are perpendicular. Alright, thanks.